The Philippine Coast Guard is not convinced that it was a Chinese vessel that rammed into and sank a Filipino fishing boat at the Recto Bank on Sunday. The owner of the sunken boat, meanwhile, is asking help from the president because she says she has lost her source of income. JC Cosico with the rest of the story. The Philippine Coast Guard will conduct its own investigation into the collision of a Filipino fishing boat and a Chinese vessel on Sunday evening. The Chinese vessel allegedly hit and sank FB Gimber 1 while it was anchored near Reed Bank. It then sailed away without rescuing the 22 Filipino distressed fishermen. A Vietnamese vessel eventually pulled the crew men out of the water. This led some critics into believing that the incident may have been motivated by the territorial disputes in the West Philippine Sea. But for PCG spokesperson Captain Armand Balilo, it's too early to say if these speculations are indeed true. For one, Balilo said, the PCG has yet to determine if the vessel was really from China. Defense Chief Delfin Lorenzana earlier identified it a Chinese vessel. Allegedly pa lang, no? Mm. Uh, kaya nga hinihintay natin yung mga mangings na makarating dito sa Occidental Mindoro mm. para makakuha pa tayo ng additional information na kung talagang uh, Chinese vessel yung nakamangga sa kanila. Balilo suspects though that the foreign vessel had intentionally rammed the Filipino boat. Yun ang pinaka-indication na intentional na binangga ka kasi iniwanan ka eh. Mm. Ngayon, kung talagang siguro aksidente lang na nagkaroon ng collision. Mm. Uh, normally, pagka mga, mga, mga fishermen, mga marino, mm. ang, kagad, ang kagyat na tendency niya ni iligtas yung mga mm. taong in distress. If it were an accident, standard operating procedure dictates that the vessel should stop and rescue the Filipino fishermen. The Philippine Navy also condemned the action of the offending party to abandon the Filipino crewmen. Arlinda de la Torre, the owner of the sunken fishing boat, appeals to President Rodrigo Duterte for help. Pangulong Duterte, humihingi po ako ng tulong sa inyo. Malutas po yung problema po, maibalik po sa amin ng buo. Yung aming nawalang pag-aari. Dahil yun lang po yung aming pinagkakakitaan. Fisher Folk Group Malakaya for its Portland Bass of the Country's Navy and Coast Guard, calling them incompetent for failing to act on the supposed Chinese aggression. Lawyer J. Batong Bakal of the UP Institute for Maritime Affairs and Law of the Sea said this is not the first time China harassed our fishermen in the disputed waters. But Sunday's incident was the first time that a Chinese vessel sank one of our own. Batong Bakal suggests that the administration rethink its policies toward the Middle Kingdom. Hindi dapat natin to palampasin. Uh, we have to make China accountable for this and make sure that China takes steps to stop this kind of behavior. For News 5, JC Corsico, We Are One News.